My name is Iris Long, and uh, I'm a curator based in Beijing right now. And my research focus is on sort of art and technology in general, but with a particular focus on transdisciplinary studies and also um, infrastructure studies. My research focus during the residency is actually kind of the extension of an online exhibition that I did before, which is um, entitled um, Brook Cables in Venetia Watercourse. It's an exhibition about um, case studies on interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary organizations and also art programs that focus on bringing together um, uh, all sorts of technological and scientific um, researches. So um, I did uh, investigations on 11 different institutions and also especially artists who were involved in the art um, programs in those institutions and try to figure out like sort of the mechanisms behind or like uh I had like um ideas behind um, the uh, designing of such um, transdisciplinary programs and also um, help it to um sort of um, develop sort of like overview of um what um, those programs share in common and also um, what are special about each of the program. And for the research I'm doing uh, with the science, scientist in residence at the uh, the project is I'm kind of extending a little bit um, with um, focusing on three different projects. So I'm hoping to use this um, sort of conversation or as a logbook of the invisible um, agents or non-human agents uh, in those three projects and try to kind of tell a story of how like um, people actually from different backgrounds work together in those projects and and illustrating the status of sort of in between the visible and the non-visible and what emerges in the in the process and when at which moments and the entire story is told um, through the voice of um, the sort of a non-human um, participant in the in the three projects. So I think my position in this driving the human from work is I find a chance to um, kind of not just participate in one session, but also um, get a chance to follow one project in long term and also find um, my way of interpreting it as it grows, as it develops. And my interpretation becomes very interesting, like resource for my storytelling uh, in this article that I'm hoping to produce. The um, research span for a scientific project is maybe in its nature different from um, what, for example, like um, an artist usually um, is used to. So for example, like a scientist may take 10 years, 20 years, or even like longer in entire lifetime to really achieve something. So I think when we try to put scientists and artists together, we are at, we are actually colliding two sense of time. And also like the like the intensity of work within that time time uh the, the time span. So um so I think that's that's the really tricky part, like, um, and that will also influence how we define the output of such collaboration. Because, like, I know that in some of the, in some of the programs, the artist can write an article, can write a paper, can do a presentation, can, uh, you know, like, um, can, can produce anything that is work in progress instead of a finished refined output be because sometimes the nature of such collaboration does require a much much longer you know um time and effort to for an artist to really really dig into um the deep side of it what's the most fascinating thing about prototyping is that it implies a strong sense of scenario making so when we talk about prototypes, I think we kind of um, we think about, for example, a given time in the future or a given kind of a social economical condition under which this prototype is going to you know, be functioning. So I think it's the idea of prototyping is also a process of setting boundaries or kind of a context making for um, such collaborations, because like in my observation, sometimes um, you know, um, when we put scientists and artists together, um, or a couple of them together, um, without a given scenario, um, it could be very discursive. I think the idea of prototyping also um, encourages this notion of gradually um, 
evolve and also like iterating and maybe like in the process you can introduce more people or more concepts more knowledges in the along the way so um i think it's an open-ended um idea that um maybe i don't know that may really lead to um a very fruitful thing that takes very long time to to, to come so i think that's my feeling about prototyping <laughs>